Hey there all craft beer lovers. Thank you for joining me for this little trip guys. We are taking a look at a collaboration beer tonight. We are going down south to the city of Helsingborg in the region of Skåne in Sweden to Bench Warmers Brewing Company right there. And they have teamed up with one of my all-time favorites, Steg Bayets Bryggeri out of Gothenburg in Sweden. And we are taking a look at their Mosa Bank IPA, clocking in at 7.5% ABV in a 440ml can. Contains barley malts and oats, they say, brewed at Bench Warmers Brewing Company in Helsingborg. There's that crazy good-looking artwork. With the seagulls there, of course... Uh, from iconic burbs from Steg Bayets and the, the bench there that they're sitting and warming up in the sunset there. Of course, the logo of Bench Warmers Brewing Company. There we go, guys. Lovely. Let's give it a pop. See what we get. There we go. A yeah, little bit of smoke there. Right, so of course, Steg by at World Class Brewery. Bench Warmers, uh, I have reviewed a few beers from these guys, uh, but have not, unfortunately, not done enough beers from these guys. Uh, I think they're doing really, really good beers. There we go. So uh, this beer is brewed at Bench Warmers. So let's see how this one holds up then. We got ourselves three fingers worth of head, spacious, but no wonder I gave it a good old rapid center pour. Small bubbles on top, just a few small bubbles there. Bright white shining, carbonation clinging to the walls of the glass, honey golden color. Nice presentation, aroma. Oh yeah. Definitely orange up front, and then kind of a s undertone of pineapple. Oh yeah, it smells nice, very hoppy. Very, very hoppy. With that said, guys, let's dive in and see what we have. Cheers. Oh. oh, it's quite bitter, actually. Okay, first, right off the bat, it's got a good deal of carbonation to it. But almost, I mean, I say almost, almost on virtue of being a little bit uh, harsh, but it's not really over the top there. It's not really over that uh, kind of fine-tuned limit there of being harsh. Instead, it comes a little bit, becomes a little bit refreshing. Good deal of orange and citrus on the taste initially, and then comes a big bitter whack. Lingering, definitely that kind of uh, floral bitter aftertaste to it. So I'm a little bit surprised because at first you got a faint, faint sweet tropical uh, vibe. And then comes the orange and the citrus and then comes that big bitter, big bitter punch uh, again. Yeah, big floral bitter hops coming through even more now at the aftertaste, especially pronounced in the aftertaste, I would say. Let's get the rest of the beer out, see what we get. Alrighty. A lot of foam. Okay, guys. So, what do I think of it then? It's a nice beer. It's a very good beer. Uh, now, it is, to be fair, a, a tad bitter. I would have preferred a little bit more emphasis on the sweetness uh, to balance out that bitterness. I mean, sure, sure enough, uh, I do like a bitter hop presence in my beers, but I do like a little bit of balance as well. And this one is a little bit too much uh, on the bitter side, but it's a very well-made beer. Uh, Mosa Bank 
from Steakbites Brigade and Benchwarmers Brewing Company. 7.5% alcohol well concealed. It's refreshing and easy drinking despite the 7.5% for me. Uh, 3.75 out of 5 for me. Thanks for watching.